Hello, guy and lady. Welcome back to Audiobook. Between the 10% investor who made 90% of the money and the 90% that make only 10% of the money are not what they invest in, but different way they think. For example, more investors say, don't take risk. The rich investor take risk. So this is the difference, everyone. For the poor and middle dollar class, they don't dare to take risk. But for the rich investor, they always take risk. Because take risk, they can have an opportunity, a lot of opportunity that is a good guy for him, for them, yeah, to do business successfully. Most investors say diversify the rich investor for curse, for curses. So for curse the main point of doing business, not just doing business, doing whatever that you would like to be success. You should focus on it strongly. The invest, the average investor try to minimize debt. The rich investor increases debt in their favor. The average investor try to decrease expenses. Rich investor know how to increase expenses to make themselves richer. The average investor have a job. The rich investor create a job. The average investor work hard. The rich investor work less and less to make more and more. The other side of the coin so an important aspect of reading this book is to notice when your thoughts are often 180 degree out from guiding thought of my read that. Read that said, one of the reasons so few people become rich is that they become set in one way of thinking. They think there is only one way to think or do something, while the every investor thinks play itself and don't take risks. The rich investor might also think about how to improve skill so he or she can take more risks. With that call this kind of thinking. Thinking on both sides of the coin, he went on saying the rich investor might have more flexible thinking than the average investor. For example, while both the average investor and rich investor might think about safety, the rich investor might also think about how to take more risks, while the average investor thinks about cutting down debt. The rich investor is thinking about how to increase debt, while the average investor lives in fear of market crisis. The rich investor looks for word to market crisis. While this may sound like a contradiction to every investor, it is the contradiction that make the rich investor read. As you read through this book, be aware of the contradiction in thinking between every investor and rich investor. As read that said, the rich investor is very aware that they are to side to every coin. The every investor is very aware that they are to side to every coin. The every investor see on the one side. And it is the side every investor does not see that keep the every investor every and the rich investor read. The second part of this book is about the other side of the coin. Do you want to be more than an every investor? This book is much more than just a book about investing hot tip and magic formula. One of the main purposes for writing it is to offer you the opportunity to gain a different point of view on the subject of investing. It began with my returning from Vietnam in 1923 and preparing myself to begin investing as a rich investor. In 1923, Rich Dad began teaching me how to acquire the same financial power. He possessed the power I first became aware of at the age of 12. While standing on the beach in front of my Rich Dad, led as improvement 40 years ago, I realized that when it came to investing, the difference between my Rich Dad and poor Dad went far deeper than merely how much money each man had to invest. The difference is first found in a person's deep desire to be much more than just an every investor. If you have such a desire, then read on. So this is the finish of uh, introduction, phase one.
So for this video, I would like to finish at this point and see you in phase one. Yeah, thank you so much for your listening, and don't forget to subscribe in order to get more video. Thank you.